So let's do this, and then I'll worry about finding that, uh... If I get to the end of the session and I finish all the others, we'll try and find it. Otherwise, you know, I'm kind of expecting at this point, since I'm also going to do this giant quest, I'll probably have two or three heart-to-hearts to do next time. So, uh, I'll find it in between sessions and wrap it up next time just before we start fighting the super bosses. You really got me out of a scrap last time. Do you know what's in the runes on Three Sage Summit? Uh, could you tell me more? I don't care about affinity points. Uh, I didn't think so. Although I'm pretty sure you must have heard of the giants, right? I heard that an immense power left by the giants lies within the ruins. But the entrance is blocked by a sealed door. I got attacked by monsters while I was studying it last time, but I managed to find out how to open the door. I discovered that it's sealed by the mystical power of the giants. To open it, you need the three treasures of the giants. Heart of the giants, truth of the giants, and daring of the giants. I've got all three. Neither me or Keralth Kur are interested in treasure. We just want to explore the ruins. How about it? Think you can find the treasures and open the door? Yo, I'm on it, dude. I've already got all of the uh, giant's treasures. Then you'll do it. There are giant ruins all over Bionis. You might be able to find the three treasures if you check them out. Good luck. Uh, not a problem. Consider it done. Yeah, I've already got them all, dude. Bum, bum, bum. Truth of the giants. And daring of the giants. And the heart of the giants. Got all three. Do I need to talk to you again, or just go up to the ruins? Uh, go to the giant's ruins. Alright, here we go. Three Sage Summit time. Let's finally wrap up these, uh, giant's quests. Bum, bum, bum. Giant level 97 Slowbos are here. It's not nighttime, though, so the glor- uh, the, uh... I was gonna say the Gloria Slobos, or Glory Slobos, but that's what these are. The final Marcus is not spawning right now. It's also not a blizzard, so thankfully the strongest boss in the game, Avalanche Abyssey, is not here. Oh, look, it's all glowing. Thank you for opening for me. Oh, I just completed the quest automatically there. There's a ton of EXP. That would have been useful for when I was leveling up. Look at these statues. Oh my goodness, there's something behind me. What is it? Oh, it's just an invited Slowbos at level 99. No big deal. Die, you stupid Slowbos. I actually should have messed around with my party composition, because this is not the best party composition for uh, killing stuff. Like, having Fiora or Melia would have been a lot better, because that just deals damage faster. Although, you know, Ricky's status effects will do damage pretty quick, and Brian isn't the best damage dealer, but he does decently. Die, you stupid Slowbos. Die. I'm gonna... I'm trying to save up, uh... Blossom Dance for a chain attack if I can. Because I'm just about to it. Nearly there. Come on. Strengthening will. Oh, no. Up oh, here we go. Chain attack. Let's kill this thing. Time to finish this Slowbos off. Yeah, Ricky. Don't mess up, man. Really wish you would have been behind it. But, you know, whatever. Give me a link. It's over. I'm not even going to bother using Blossom Dance. I'll save it for later, I guess. Because that's more than enough right there. Alright, that was pretty easy. Stupid level 99 Slowbos. Look at this dragon head. Why are the giants, like, so associated with the dragons? There are only, like, three dragons in the game. There, I mean, I guess it makes sense here, of all places, because the Avalanche Abyssey is right outside during blizzards. Ah, uh, what... What is in here? What is it? Uh, the Titan Plate, the Titan Greaves, the RD Drones, and Final Cut. Why are there drones in a giant thing? Like, drones are a mechanical weapon for Fiora. But I actually do want to look at that stuff. There is a sword called the Final Cut, right? That goes for Dunban, I think. No, it doesn't. Who is that for, then? Who gets the Final Cut? What is that weapon... Four. It's not a gun, is it? No. Agape. That means love, doesn't it? Agape means, like, unconditional love, I believe. There's all my different Monados. Is it for Fiora? Oh, yeah, it is. Final Cut is for Fiora. How many... It's got two empty slots? Okay. Whoops. This one also has two empty slots. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I want to see the Titan Plate, mainly. Probably a heavy armor for, uh, Ryan. Or it would be probably best for Ryan. I actually don't want it on Ryan because it's going to make him lose even more Aether Defense. What was it? The, uh, Titan Greaves? That actually gives him, like, an up. 
It's gonna take down his strength, though. Probably because I just have a strength attached thing on it. I don't mind that. Titan Greaves. Oh, it matches... No, it doesn't really match the boots he's wearing, but it sort of does. Alright. What do you have equipped right now so I can equip it right back? I just want to look at what this looks like. There's so many outfits. Argos armor all the way to the right. Let me see what this looks like. Holy cow, that is just, like, ridiculous. That is definitely meant for a giant. Put that back on, though. You gotta have some good ether defense going, at least a little bit. Alright, cool. Done with that. Uh, da 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 Oh, the drones. I didn't look at the drones. They might be better than the ones Fiora's got on right now. I don't know what, uh, what it are... Better than the Loki drones. I don't know what talent art it's gonna give her. These are the same drones, only they have a slot on them. Why do I not have those equipped? Arty drones. Gives me, like, 100 more Aether Defense for, like, 50 Physical Defense. Dude, what is with Fiora's defense stats, actually? Look at her stats. That's insane. Why do you have such good defense? Well, actually, everyone has, like, really good uh, defense stats, it looks like. Dunbans is insane, but he just dodges everything anyways. Who's got, like, the biggest attack stat? Fiora. For Physical Attack, Melee's got the highest for Aether. Alright, whatever. Well, that was actually really, really short. <laughs> I didn't think it would- I thought the ruins would be bigger than this, to be honest with you. I thought there'd be a little more to it after you go to so much trouble to get in here. These dragon heads do look pretty awesome, though. Alright, well, let's get back to heart to hearts, then. And try and wrap those up. Uh, dude, I've got three- there actually are some at Prison Island. I didn't think there would be any there, but apparently there are. I've got three in Prison Island, two in Bionis Interior, and then one in the Fallen Arm, and they all need, like, max affinity. One at the Fallen Arm. No, I've actually got two to do with the Fallen Arm. No, more than that, even. I've got four to do with the Fallen Arm. Holy cow. Two more at Valak Mountain. There's one in Alchemoth. Two in Alchemoth. Three. Three in Alchemoth. Uh, two in the Aerith Sea. And then three in Frontier Village. And then the one I couldn't find in Magna Forest. Whew, we've still got quite a few to knock out. I've got to knock out, like, at least ten of these. There are, like, what, fifteen more? Something like that? i got to get to work on this. Let's go to Frontier Village. Frontier Village should be pretty easy to do. Everything's, like, right next to everything, so it's not hard to get to them. Aerith Sea is probably going to involve a lot of running around. Alchemoth, you can't fast travel in anymore, so that's definitely going to require a lot of running around. I have to actually just, like, run around the entirety of Alchemoth. Uh, da 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 da, -da. Let me figure out where these heart-to-hearts are actually at. Not on the first two floors. Oh, wait. Yep, there's one right here. Let's get this one done first, then. Who is this? Uh, Fiora and Melia. Get them really fast. I didn't realize I had so many heart to hearts left. I thought that I was only I thought I was already at like ten or less, but it looks like I got like fifteen or something. I don't have time to count them, I gotta get them done. A day like any other. I did bad words. Fiora is actually a good bit taller than Melly, I didn't notice before. Not ridiculously so. Like I don't even think that's a foot taller. It's like half a foot maybe? I don't know. I'm bad at judging height. Why do tranquil places like this bring back so many memories? Perhaps the quiet clears the head. So what's on your mind? Sh uh, there, there. I almost said Shiora because I wanted to read Shulk and Fiora at the same time. That's a good pairing name. What's on your mind, Fiora? Let me guess. Shulk? Well, sort of, but not just him. Maybe I shouldn't tell you this. I'm very interested to know. You are? Okay, I'll tell you. Nah. Got it. There's this wonderful park near my home. I do miss it. Once I made lunch for Shulk... Shulk and me, and we had a picnic there. You don't say. Anything else you fancy boasting about? Your future, children, living happily ever after? <laughs> Calm down the jealousy, Melia. Calm down. I didn't mean to boast. It's just that day, I'm always remembering it. I don't know why. Did anything special happen? No, nothing in particular. Let me think. Ah, oh, that was wrong. I remember it being the same as any other day. Well, I already got the first one right, so I don't mind getting that one wrong. There was me and Shulk, and we had lunch. That's it. If that's your idea of any other day, I'm quite jealous, Fiora. Actually, Shulk looked really, really happy that day. More than he usually does. That must be why it's one of my favorite memories. I have a memory that I cherish. Mother and I eating at the villa. That sounds wonderful, Melia. I can recall no better time in my life. My mother's smile was radiant. I remember it like yesterday. Will we ever have happy times like those again? We will, Fiora, I promise. Well, not with Melia's mom, obviously. She's dead. Believe in Shulk. He'll make it happen for you. Melia. I'm sure you're right. Thank you. 
It's like the first time I've seen Melia be outwardly jealous in this game. Like, she's been quietly jealous, definitely, but she's never, like, outwardly spoken it like that. That I can remember, at least. Where is this next heart-to-heart? -heart? Ah, right at Ricky's house. Uh, I think this is Dunman and Ricky, isn't it? Yes, it is. They're probably going to be talking about children, because all of Ricky's little pawn are hanging around. Let's do this one, then. I think there's one more in Frontier Village we gotta do. That first one was pretty quick. Uh, whoop. Life's hard for a hero pun. Ricky not want to leave home again. Ready to leave us already. You can stay here. No one will mind. Dun Dun not sad Ricky leave. Two hero pun better than one. I'll be fine without you, but I'm not so sure about the others. Shulk will miss Ricky, Ryan too. Ricky's friends all sad. Ricky think Dun Dun's sad too. I'm afraid not, Ricky. I'll shed a tear for you. Dun Man wouldn't say. I Dun Man. I don't see Dun Man saying either of these things. To be honest with you, I don't think he'd say he shed a tear, and I don't think he'd. Well, yeah, Dun Man is pretty blunt from time to time. I don't think he'd flat out say like, "No, Ricky, I don't care about you." But I think that's more believable than shedding a tear. Nope, it was shedding a tear. Not fair. Dun Dun should cry. Ricky not like Dun Dun anymore. You can whine all you- or whine? What, is that supposed to be whine? All you like, Wiki- uh, Ricky? <laughs> now I'm trying to- I said Wiki because I'm thinking of whine. So like, what the heck is that word? Whoever wishes to leave is welcome. No argument here. Anyone can leave? Dun Dun not sound like other Hom Hom. We live in times of war. If I shed a tear for every lost companion, I'd cry for eternity. Crying is a luxury I cannot afford. Life must go on, Ricky. See, this sounds more like Dun Man to me than him saying he would shed a tear. Dun Dun. If I stop to mourn the departed, others would be left vulnerable. I say, if you have time to mourn, then you have time to fight. That is my way. You think less of me now? It could be your way, too. I got two wrong! No, it finally happened! And it happened with Dunban! Ah, uh, you know what? This was meant to happen. This is destiny right here. The Monado predicted this. Mm, no, Ricky not think that. But Ricky not understand. Ricky sad if Dundun leave. Why Dundun not sad if Ricky say bye-bye? I am a man of war, Ricky. I have made myself numb to many Hom's emotions. Okay, now that doesn't sound very Dunban-ish. No, Ricky think Dun Dun wrong. Reason Dun Dun not sad because he is Hom Hom hero. Uh, he big and strong and brave so can fight more. Ricky understand. Ricky. Ricky not want Dun Dun to be sad. So when Ricky in trouble, Dun Dun can come to rescue. I appreciate your enthusiasm. But shouldn't you be getting yourself out of trouble? You're a grown no-pot, a father. You can't be relying on me. Oh, you still get plus affinity at the end, even if you screw up two of them? So does that still, like, cancel out the affinity loss? I think it would. Two four-heart losses plus a big heart gain, I guess, would cancel out, roughly. No, Dun-Dun save Ricky. Dun-Dun like father to Fiora, same as Ricky, save each other. Uh, I knew I would get one wrong eventually. That one was really weird, though. Like, I, those didn't match up with Dunban very well, from what I know of Dunban. I mean, I've gotten a lot of Dunman's other stuff correct. I don't know. I'm no Dunman expert as much as I love his character. That was a really weird conversation, though. But I knew it was going to happen eventually. I, sh I knew I wouldn't be able to get out of this game without messing up at least one of them. I think it's faster to go to Apex Lake than Mysterious Sanctuary, maybe? Whatever. Ah, man, I really would have liked to have gotten through the game without getting any double incorrect. But whatever. Just one of them wrong, I guess, is still pretty good. Jinxing myself right now for the rest of them I haven't done. Okay, I was wrong. It would have been faster to go the other way. Wait, where is this heart to heart at? I thought it was right here. Where is it? Oh, it's down. Okay. My bad. Fast traveling here was like completely pointless. Uh, da -da -da. I'm like stuck on stuff. All right, what is this next one? I almost fell off the edge. That would have been less than ideal. Last one for Frontier Village. What is it? Uh, Fiora and Sharla. All right. Do, do, do. Uh, reawakened memories. Look at the little spine things on Sharla's outfit. They're not even connected to the sleeve. What the heck? I heard it's Opon custom to jump from here. I did a quest about it, helping an Opon jump from here, actually. To prove your love and devotion. From all the way up here? Wow, a bit high, isn't it? A bit. But you know someone who's leapt from an even greater height. 
You mean Shulk? You mean Ryan? Brine? Yeah, Brine. I think I saw a smile there. Yeah, when the fortress exploded, he didn't hesitate for a second. He jumped to save his sweet Fiora. I only remember bits and pieces. I was so afraid, but when I woke up, there was Shulk by my side. Yeah, making out with you. I suddenly felt safe and warm with his lips on yours. <laughs> Sounds like you two get along very well indeed. W what do you mean? I get along with with everyone. You, Ryan, my brother. I get it, playing it close to your chest. But I know what happened after you woke up. Ryan told me. You were all nervous. Don't <laughs> Didn't know whether to hold hands or not. I'm not telling. Ryan said that. I don't know which one of these Fiora would say. That was wrong. You're a sneaky one, you. But it's okay. I know how nice it can be keeping these little secrets. Sharla, I... Hold it there, Missy. You were about to spoil the mood by apologizing for no reason. How do you do that? Nothing gets past you at all. Haha, <laughs> trust me. Gadalt had it much worse than you ever will. But if you need any help, don't hesitate to ask Big Sis Sharla. Although Dunman strikes me as the type who'd know a lot about this. Dunman? Even Ricky knows more about relationships than him. Ah, <laughs> Ricky is married after all, so he's got one up on both of us. Do, 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 do. Dude, Dunman isn't completely... I had someone in the comments tell me that before, too. That, like, Dunman's one shortcoming is he doesn't understand relationships. By the way, I'm gonna jump to the reservoir for no reason. Uh, I mean... He's, I definitely don't think Dunman is number one love guru or anything, but he's not, like, ignorant. Or not ignorant. That's not the right word. Oblivious. I meant to say oblivious. Ignorant and oblivious are pretty different words. Similar in some ways, but, uh... He's, he's not, like, full-on oblivious. Like, he could obviously see the attraction between Fiora and Shulk because he talked to Shulk about it before. Which was my argument that I made to said commenter uh, when he pointed that out. I said, yeah, but, I mean, like, he obviously knew about, uh... Fiora and Shulk and brought it up to Shulk even when they still thought Fiora was dead so he's not like fully oblivious to the whole romance thing he's probably definitely not the best at it I would agree to that 